the question came up how to increase the sidebar in the Bedford template. Uh, the same goes for the other templates in this family, so Anya, Bri uh, Bryant and Hayden. So the first thing I do is to see whether someone has actually already done this, um, because very often you can find the answers already out there. So I Googled it and lo and behold, you know, in the Squarespace Answers website, there were actually a few posts on the topic and I found this one here and this had the code that I found most useful. So I used that as the basis for my own code, you know, because this one wasn't perfect. It didn't address everything that I wanted to address. So what I did is I go into my custom CSS section. Now I've already prepared the code, so I'm just going to copy it and paste it into my um, custom CSS sec section. So you can see it has made the sidebar wider. Now it's also created some strange padding here in my archive block but actually all you need to do is save and refresh your page and that will readjust this you know to the new width of the page so that looks pretty good i basically targeted three containers on this page you know to achieve this effect now here is a little tip that i always find very useful when i am using custom CSS. I put borders around the target areas. So let me just add the border here. And you know, I give them different colors. So we're targeting three containers on this page here. So one is the actual page container. Then here is the blog post, which in Bedford is called article. And then here is the right sidebar. And by applying the border around it, I can actually see, you know, where is the padding? Do I need to adjust the padding or the margins? And this just gives me a really good view of, you know, the, what the container actually looks like and, you know, what are the gaps in between? And uh, is it from the padding of this container or is it a margin that was added? So um, once I am finished with my code and happy with everything, then I usually just remove those again. So in this case, I targeted, you know, the page and the article and the right sidebar containers. I would suggest, you know, copy this code from the blog post where I will post it and play around with the margins to however you like it. For instance, here, you know, you could change this, make it a little closer to, um, to the main blog post, but I quite like to have a little bit of a gap in between here. And I'm going to just take out my borders again, because that was just, you know, for demonstration purposes. And, you know, so basically what I did is I applied a width to the page, you know, 1200 pixels. Now you can, again, play around with this, play around with the maximum width settings here until it looks the way you want it to. So very important though, while this looks quite good now, have a look at the smaller screen sizes. Now on tablet view, hmm, we're having all this white space here. Don't really like that. Let's have a look at the phone view. Again, we have the white space here. And if we go to the sidebar, um, yeah, my margin setting, setting that I applied here, looks pretty awful on a smaller screen, you know, so of course I don't want that. So I also applied some media only um, CSS and so that it also looks good on the smaller screens. So I'm just going to paste that in here and there you go. So now my sidebar looks nice and centered. And if I scroll up, there's no more the white, you know, um, space here on the right. If I go to the tablet view, same thing, you know, the white space has been taken care of. And of course, it still looks good in the um, desktop view. So that is all there is to it. You know, generally, again, you know, I would say, be careful when you are changing, you know, making 
changes to the structural elements of a template. I don't generally recommend doing that actually, uh, especially when you play around with container widths and all of that. Test it, test it very, very thoroughly just to make sure, you know. So now I, you know, I'm satisfied that it looks good in my Squarespace editor in the different screen sizes, but test it in a real life environment as well. Go and look at it on your phone. Go and look at it on a tablet or iPad if you have one or ask your friends, you know, just really make sure that this looks good in all scenarios. Anyway, I hope this helped.